It's an exciting week for us here in the shop. Uh, when we first got going, we bought all these orchids. They were all in bloom and they were real pretty. And, uh, you may or may not know orchids, they'll bloom for a short period of time and the flowers fall off and they're what they call dormant. The stalks kind of turn brown and they're just kind of a leafy house plant with no particularly cool flowers or anything on them. Uh, and they, they usually, they only bloom about once a year. Um, but we've got this one here, he only, he, he's lost his blooms uh, maybe three or four months ago and here he is again just budding up really nicely. We have a couple flowers here that are, that are uh, already fully open. Um, two more starting here on these pre-existing stalks and then another shoe coming off with two really healthy looking buds on it. So it's really exciting for us. And I'd like to share with you uh, an anecdote uh, that kind of lays the groundwork for an experiment that I want to do. My friend had an orchid. She got it for her birthday and it, like they do, it lost its blooms in a couple of months. And she was going around her house just dusting maybe a couple of months later and saw the thing and she just picked it up and shook it and put it back. And not two days later, it exploded with flowers again. This was a big one. It had maybe 12 flowers on it or something. So that leads me to believe that orchids can be stressed into behaving different ways. Um, so here we have this one, this one that's blooming, and all these other dormant ones. I've picked one that looks particularly dormant for what it's worth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the same room. We're going to put them in our dark room here in the shop and give them 12 hours of light on and off, uh, one that's totally dormant and one that's going into full bloom. Uh, we're going to see what happens. Uh, uh, I'm also reminded of, you know, we've all heard of uh, a bunch of women that work in the same office uh, syncing up with their menstrual cycles and stuff. Uh, so I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens when we put these, these two flowers in completely different uh, phases into the exact same conditions. So, let's do it. Here's the orchid that has started blooming. You can see it's got its two open flowers here. and then a couple healthy looking buds on each of those stalks and then it's got this very recent new growth here these guys those are going to open up any day now too here's the rest of our orchid collection you can see sitting here most of them one more back here in the water farm and this uh, bonsai tree as well we all have them sitting under a 250 watt uh, Sun System 2, HPS. Get us out of this weird light. This is the one I've selected for the dormant orchid in this experiment. Uh, you can see him here now sitting in our, sitting in our dark room. We've got uh, the two foot four lamp Ultra Grow T5 fixture in here. Um, and if you can see under it, We've got red bulbs and blue bulbs in there, alternating, so it's a much fuller spectrum. Now you can see the uh, cat's coming to see what we're doing. This is Rocco. He works in the shop with me most days. We gotta keep him out of the garden though. Go on. So yeah, we're gonna put this guy and this guy in there together. Uh, we're gonna go 12-12 on the lights and we're gonna feed them the same, just a really mild mix of the uh, orchid plant food and maybe we'll do a little bit of foliar spray if we get if we get a little bored. We might We've got this them. light set on 12-12 and we're gonna let these guys go at it. Keep you posted.